my friends today is a great day to work on exercise 119 in my 200 3d cat models in free cat series this model is a bit larger than the other ones so we will have to be careful about not making any mistakes i've been making some pretty uh good mistakes over the last couple of days so being careful is really important for me right now all right i placed the image on xz plane which is the front i want to work on this side and let's go ahead and transform the image to the center of this hole and then take the axis cross up away now i want to work on so this would be a perfect model uh, for assembly workbench and i think the assembly workbench will go away soon but the idea remains the same until the new assembly workbench comes on i want to build it old fashioned way and then when the new assembly workbench comes on on freecat.22 i'll come back to this model hopefully one day and then build it in assembly with that let's go ahead and start sketching on a zip line i want to build this first slot first I kind of have a feeling I built this model somewhere else. I just don't know where, so. I just have a feeling. Okay, so this is radius 15, right? And this is radius 35. And this length between these two centers is 100. So that's our first slot it has a hole at the end and a hole at the other end so this is radius 10 and this is radius 15. right we got that part taken care of let's go ahead and rename that sketch as sketch lot one and then extrude that for 20. okay we want to extrude that for 20 and maybe keep it symmetric by the plane i don't know yeah no just like let's not worry about that right now so we build that right and then there is another slot coming up so i want to not think about location right now i just want to build it so let's go ahead and build another sketch on x z plane and then build a slot right this is a uniform slot the length between the centers is 100 and then the radius is 75 divided by 2 70 divided by 2 and then this will be at the origin so this slot has two holes at two ends and both of the holes are same size do they so this is radius 20 and this is radius 15 all right we got that slot taken care of i'm gonna rename that as sketch slot 2 and extrude that one for 20. Okay, so we got slot 1 and then we got the second slot now we want to work on these cylinders the hollow cylinders or the tubes uh, to be politically correct 
and outside radius is 25 and inside radius is 15 and then height the first one is height is all right so there's a lot of numbers so let's go ahead and add them up 15 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 15 so that's the length for the first one and i want to copy and paste it and the second one the the length is 40 so we just go ahead and like make it 40 all right so we have four different parts built into the same position and this tube we will have to rotate it to face the face right it's rotated a little too much and also the second one we'll have to rotate that one as well all right so we have our four parts now I've it's only time to put them at their own place. Let's say this part, so this is staying there. I'm going to say this long tube is at the right place, but we want to have it move back on the y direction for say half of its length so minus 45 so that's where the center is so we say that's the base if if that's where the center is this slot will be 10 millimeter away from the center so we move this slot on y side it would be minus 10 Actually, it will be more than minus 10, it will be minus 15. All right. So we got that. And this one will go to the end. So the end, let's say, the Y. So that's the end and the end it has 15 millimeter clearance so it will actually be 15 millimeter less 30. all right we got that now only time to change the position for this tube it will come at the center of this slot so i will have to actually transform it manually there so that way it makes it easier on me Okay, something is not matching up. It would be 100, right? And I think something was not matching up on the image. So it is 40 and 60. And we have 40. Oh, there it is outer radius is thirty and inner radius is forty. Okay, now it match it is matched up. Alright. I think we have our object fully assembled. So we built different parts and then we just place them at their location um, sort of kind of like how assembly workbench works but we did it in in the part workbench now it's time to place all of this together as a fusion say final object that's it that is our object Well, I hope you liked this process. As I said, I'll come, I'll probably come back to it if I remember. 
once the cricket point two two version comes up and then build this model in the new assembly workbench thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one